you read the script, they shoot the film, you put it together a jillion times, you go through previews, but my God, you can get lost along the way. So I'll mark in the, in the margins, you know, things that will bring that state of mind back to me. Because I know several months down the line, when I'm feeling out of touch with the material, I'll read it again and I'll see my initial reactions and that will bring back that state of mind that I had several months before when I read it for the first time. Now I'm working on Larry's pictures. He, he's a very collaborative and very inclusive director. I've done so many movies with him that he wants me to read the script really pretty, like maybe not his first draft, but very early on. Not because he thinks I have anything brilliant to tell him, <laughs> believe me, but he just wants me to be involved in the process as soon as possible, to see things going through a variation, his variations in the writing. And also, I come on early enough that I attend at least, he, he likes to rehearse the actors t two weeks to a week, if he can get them all together. And he wants the cinematographer and me and the script supervisor to be around for the last two or three run-throughs of the, of the script. So we'll have a lot of time, I have a lot of time to really think about it, to see a reading all the way through, hear the actors talk about what they want to do and what they want to achieve, so I have right away a shorthand of what the director wants to achieve and what the actors want to achieve.